cool outside. Big cool down, Margaret. I know. The weather here is pretty fabulous. It's hard to talk about that when we have this tragedy occurring in Paris, but let me just bring you up to date. So, as we look at our satellite, we do have some high and mid level clouds at about 25,000 feet for the most part. And looking to the north, could have a few little sprinkles over the northern portion of the state. We've got this northerly flow and small craft advisories in effect along the coast. The winds north at 25 to 30 knots. Stay. Inland today. Then we can check and see what's happening in our forecast model. High pressure to the north. We're going to pick up more of an east northeast flow tomorrow. You can see some clouds moving our way. It's going to be a great day. High temperatures in the upper 60s, but it's definitely going to be chilly in the morning. Low temperatures low to the mid 40s. North shore, south shore, upper 40s to even mid 50s closer to the lake. Then here we are looking at Sunday. Notice how that moisture is beginning to increase. From the east southeast. Still going to be a great day. High temperatures in the upper 60s. The weather begins to change as you go into your Monday. Obviously, we've got a southeast flow. We've got a chance of rain developing. But the time period we're really watching is Tuesday into Wednesday, possibly into Thursday. So, what we have is a big upper level low, a pocket of cold air aloft, and then all of this warm, moist air moving in from the Gulf. And we will be at risk. For severe storms. This timing may change a bit, but damaging winds, isolated tornadoes possible late Tuesday into Wednesday. We're going to keep you posted on that. But I'm telling you, the weather for this weekend looks great. Lots of events. Let's start with the Gumbo Festival. This is so much fun over at Armstrong Park. We've got the Rebirth Brass Band, we've got the Hot Eight Band, lots of good things going on. And oh, Great weekend to eat gumbo. And then we can look at the Pecan Festival, St. Rita Church in Harahan. Bucktown All Stars are performing. And the Holiday Farmers Market is taking place at Rivertown. As many as 28 different groups showing their artwork, so it's going to be pretty cool. Game day forecast. LSU versus Arkansas. So it, the weather is really looking fabulous in Baton Rouge. Upper 60s for the afternoon, kickoff temperatures in the 50s. Then we can also go and check out what's happening with the Saints. The weather totally cooperates in Washington. Here is a look at this morning, and it was chilly. We had low temperatures, low to the mid 40s, North Shore. South Shore basically in the low to the mid 50s, but I'm telling you, Benny said it was a gorgeous day today. High temperatures climbed to near 70, and by the way, there are butterflies out there. Look at this we've got a monarch, a Gulf Fritillary, and then another monarch. They were flying all over the place today. The high temperature 69, the average is 73, the record 83 degrees, and believe it or not, we're going to be back in the 80s going into next week. Here is a look at our highs today, upper 60s. To near 70 with all of that sunshine. It was just beautiful. 64 degrees now, and we do have some clouds moving in. The wind is north at 14. It's sending in that cooler, drier air. So as we look at the temperatures, we're already in the mid 50s to the low 60s. The wind is not as strong on the North Shore, but that 20 mile per hour wind at the lakefront makes it feel a lot cooler. I'd grab a jacket going out because look, nine o'clock, you're in the low 50s to the upper. Upper 50s, so it's going to be chilly. And your morning low temperatures, low 40s to the low 50s, it's definitely going to be a chilly start to the day. But then with that sunshine, high temperatures are going to be climbing into the upper 60s. So let's check out the forecast. Tomorrow, a good looking day. Get out, enjoy the weather. So many events taking place. We can look into the week. Sunday, upper 60s, still cold in the morning. Monday, those temperatures. Are going up in the upper 70s. Rain chances begin to increase. Then, as we look at Tuesday, higher chance of rain, especially Tuesday night into Wednesday. Timing for the models not agreeing. Some of that rain could linger into Thursday morning. We'll keep you posted on that. Then we cool down a bit before another cold front moves our way. So, a lot going on in our weather. And of course, our prayers are with all of the people in France dealing with this terrible tragedy. Scott and Camille. And Margaret, of course.